right now. I'm ready to save you, ready to deliver, ready to heal uh, abundantly in the mighty name of Jesus. Uh, conscience, the guide of the inner man. And I want to make you understand that not, not having Jesus Christ, not believing in Jesus Christ is not an excuse for you. On that day when Jesus shall judge the whole world, there's no excuse. No man shall find himself uh, excusable. No man shall be excused uh, on that day because every, every parameter is laid out. Uh, every condition is set forth. Uh, if you believe in Jesus, it's a condition. Uh, if you want to live by the law, it's a condition. Uh, if you want to live by conscience, it's a condition. Uh, irrespective of how you live, uh, God is going to judge you uh, by the same standard that, that God has set. Uh, and I want to tell you, Paul the Apostle, he lived this life before. Before I believed in Jesus Christ, uh, in the book of Romans, he looked at himself. Uh, he said, look, I've tried to live by the standard of righteousness. Uh, I've, I'm a religious person, and I've tried all along to be a religious person, and I've tried to obey the law of religiosity. But I found out, I just found out, uh, that irrespective of what I do, uh, I cannot deliver myself from the body of sin. Uh, he said, how wretched man that he am, because so he can't deliver himself uh, from this body of sin. But you need to understand, uh, but it says, oh, glory be to God. Uh, when Jesus came into his life, uh, he received a new life, a new soul, uh, and he was able to shout hallelujah. He was able to shout hallelujah because the grace of God came upon his life, uh, because the glory of God came upon his life, uh, because the glory of God came upon his life, and he was transformed. Uh, and that's why uh, even your conscience alone is not able to deliver you. If you want to live by the law, you shall be judged by the law. If you want to live by your conscience, you shall be judged by your conscience. But this are no measure. This cannot compete with the standard that Jesus Christ has set. And when people came, come into the kingdom through Jesus Christ, what they are enjoying is the privilege of the work, of the finished work that a man has done many years ago. Is a finished work of what a man has done many years ago. If you, this day, if we compare ourselves with Abraham, Abraham lived before Jesus Christ. And if you live at the life of Abraham, Abraham was blessed. But at the same time, he passed through a lot of situations, a lot of conditions that this day, we don't have to pass through some of those stuff because Christ has come and Christ has given us the grace and the glory that when we believe in him, we may not pass through some of those things because the grace of God is abundantly and sufficiently abundantly to cover us. Amen. It's also important for us to know <coughs> that when God will come, <coughs> It's not coming back to negotiate again. When Jesus is com comes back, it's not coming back to negotiate. He has done that before. He'll be coming back to execute judgment. And that's why this is a time that every one of us need to make up our mind. It is better who we are or what we think we are or who we think we are. To understand uh, that at the end of the day, it will come down to this thing. Do we meet the standard or not? If you come to this thing, now you said you are not a Christian. You said, I don't believe in him. You said you're an atheist. You said you are agnostic. You said um, you have a, a, a different religion. You said you don't believe in, in the religion. You might be in any state or any condition. You know, you said you, are, uh, you, you have a, a, a free life, a free state, a free state of mind. Uh, but what I'm saying is that at the end of days, at the end of time, if you come to this one thing, did you meet the standard or not? And there's just only one standard that has been said by Jesus Christ. And that has been said by Jesus Christ. If you believe by your conscience, you shall be judged by your conscience. If you live by the law, you shall be judged by the law. And if you say, oh no, I, don't, I just believe in nature. I don't believe in anything. Even the nature that you believe in, the nature that you are preserving, the nature that you are following becomes a law unto you. And that's why it's important to stay. We're pleading with you to consider this man Jesus. We're pleading with you to reconsider the finished work of Jesus. We're pleading with you to reconsider what God has done. We're pleading with you to reconsider the opportunity 
that Jesus is given. We're pleading with you to reconsider what God is saying because uh, on that day, on that day, when Christ will come, there is only one standard that was shall be judged with. And that is why in verse 16, Paul the Apostle said, he said, in the day, when God shall judge the secret of, the secret of men by Jesus Christ according to my gospel, on that day, on that day, when God shall judge the secret things, uh, the secret things of all men, your secret things, uh, what you do in your secret place, uh, what you do when no man sees you, what you do when no man is there, what you do when no man is around, uh, when God shall judge what is in your heart, what you are contemplating or meditating about, uh, when God shall judge by <laughs> all this thing by Jesus Christ, uh, which type of man are you going to be? Which type of man are we going to be? Where are we going to be? And that is why it's important this day to reconsider this opportunity that's coming your way by the Spirit of God in presenting this gospel to you that you might be able to receive, that you might be able to accept the power of God to deliver you, to save you, to make you whole, to make you the person that you need to be, to make you the personality that you need to be, to make you that person that you need to be, as you receive uh, the power of God come to, your life, come to your life in Jesus' name. I will start to pray with you. <coughs> right now, if you want to receive Christ into your life, just start to talk, ask Christ to come into your life. He will do it. He will come into your life. He will make you whole. He will save you. He will deliver you. And if there's something particularly that I want us to pray, uh, to agree with you about today, uh, just start to talk to God. Hallelujah. And the glory of God is here. Ah, the glory of God is here. I could see it. The glory of God is here. And it's ready to move. Uh, in the mighty name of Jesus. Uh. Hallelujah. 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 Thank you, Jesus. 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 But I just pray that as many that are receiving your word today, that let your power come upon their life. As many that are receiving your word today, let your grace come upon their life. As many that are receiving your word today, or let your presence be seen in them. As many that are receiving your word today, let the deliverance of the Holy Spirit start to walk in them. In the mighty name of Jesus, as men that are receiving your word today, I pray. Oh God, you fill their heart and their spirit with the glorious blessing of heaven. In the mighty name of Jesus, let the name of the Lord be glorified. Let your name be exalted, O oh God. In Jesus' name, I pray. Amen. Amen. This ministration is coming to you from um, Christian Forum, and this is Paul Sinobini from uh, World Embassy, and I pray that God will bless you until you come your way again. If you want to send us email, send us email at info at worldembassy.org, and God bless you. Amen. <laughs>